Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss how to provide a really easy service e-commerce website development on Fiverr because there are many people who are making good revenue from Fiverr and uh, I just want to share with you guys how you can learn this basically you can learn this gig particularly easily and uh, you can provide it all right so let's just talk about e-commerce website development e-com websites many people make it on shopify many people make it on wordpress that is woocommerce or some people who know coding basically can do it on different coding languages but for us the best thing is WordPress because WordPress is fairly easy it is drag and drop and you don't have to do a whole lot of work to get the desired result right so let's just talk about some good places where you can learn this particular skill this is the channel of Darren Wilson right he's an expert in this whole website development skill and he has created some very in-depth tutorials it's like two hours here you can see two hours so these are very in-depth tutorials which you can see and learn how to create these kinds of websites which they are providing here on Fiverr all right so as you can see develop an e-commerce website e-commerce website these are fairly cheap $50 and uh, these are a little bit on the mid-range to 25 350 300 $80 pretty cheap but you can charge as much as you want depends on your client because whatever your client requires how much budget that particular client has and uh, yeah if you want to learn you can go here on Darren Wilson channel and uh, I know how to create e-commerce websites too so I will be creating some tutorials but before I start that series I just want you guys to know that I learned from him and uh, there are some other ones which are good too but uh, in my opinion he is probably the best for because his teaching style is very you know easy to understand all right so that's all i got for this fiber gig thing and uh, i'm gonna do it as a series where i will basically tell you guys how you can learn to provide particular gigs and uh, now that's all i got for today okay thank you so maybe i should share with you guys a little bit more about web development because why not i know a little bit extra about this particular topic as uh, the development of web e-commerce websites are done on shopify woocommerce wix and let me show you some of the most prominent platforms for developing e-commerce website all right so if you guys don't know shopify is probably one of the most famous platform to create e-commerce websites and uh, this is a canadian company it's pretty good uh, and it's fairly easy to use uh, but it is a subscription based service so many people don't uh, use this the reason is the subscriptions are fairly pricey in comparison to woocommerce woocommerce is let's talk about woocommerce too woocommerce WooCommerce is from here. Let's go to WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a plugin which you can install on WordPress. And as you guys may or may not know, WordPress is a CMS platform where you can create your website, content management system, and uh, you can create a website, any kind of website, blogs, whatever you whatever you want, blog, websites. You can basically create a video hosting platform whatever you like but for with WooCommerce only thing it is used for is for e-commerce services and it is very nice you can do almost anything you want on WooCommerce if you know coding you can do even things that many people who don't know coding can do so it is pretty good for Shopify let's just say what it is it's it's costly than this let's just let's just be very clear WooCommerce is way cheaper than Shopify. I always recommend WooCommerce over Shopify because uh, Shopify is just not up to mark when it comes to pricing and the quality. Alright, so there is one more Magisto. Let me show you. I 
Magisto. Uh, I don't remember. Is it Magisto? Hold on, let me see. Mm. No, 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 it's not that. I need to check this. Hold on. Basically, the thing with this particular because the reason why I don't remember the names of all the e-commerce platforms is because you don't need to. WooCommerce will do everything that you need. And uh, if you have a little bit of extra capital, you can use Shopify too. All right, so let's go for e-commerce platforms. Yeah, Shopify, Wix, Big Commerce, Adobe Commerce. Adobe, yeah, this is the one. It's not Magisto, it's Magnin, Magento, whatever, Magento maybe. All right, so Big Commerce, Wix, Squarespace. Squarespace is pretty popular too. You may have heard the advertisements on many, many podcasts and many YouTube channels. People are promoting this heavily. Whoever the people running this company, they got a lot of adver advertising and promotional capital. So whatever it is. And uh, they are using heavy amount of funds on this. I hope they are making their returns. But uh, for us, for anyone who is starting out in e-commerce and basically want to start on the right foot and want to go further in this and basically do something like as we saw here if you want to do something in relate related to this in relation to this my recommendation is go with woocommerce woocommerce it will give you everything you need and it will give you web development experience too with these platforms wix and squarespace and shopify these are mostly drag and drop and uh, drag and drop is good woocommerce also has drag and drop platform but uh, still it is better to use this because it will give you wordpress experience too so if you can create an e-commerce website on woocommerce the best part is you will learn wordpress with it and as i showed you before how you can start you can start from here pick any tutorial any tutorial related to e-commerce this is an e-commerce website is four weeks ago it's pretty good it's very in-depth everything will be you know basically step by step explained to you and uh, if possible i will maybe i will create an e-commerce uh, website development tutorial too and, uh, then we can create a website together all right so yeah that's all i think that's all there is for this and yeah let's talk about one more topic and that is hosting many people use different kinds of hosting so for this is the part which is basically the most cost or uh, cost regarding let's say because hosting is the thing that people you know spend the most and they should because it will keep your website uh, working and uh, the efficiency of the website is highly dependent on hosting right so for shopify it is subscription plan shopify has their own servers and everything so you don't have to pay anything but it is a subscription you pay for shopify they will give you the hosting but as i said it's already very costly so for woocommerce you can use any any kind of hosting i use namechip but you can use other ones whatever you like or most brands are good in comparison uh, most uh, known well-known brands are good when we compare them bluehost is good namechip is already pretty renowned and godaddy is good whatever you like i'm not going to put any links because it's just many people try to sell their own hosting i don't think it is a good idea just make your own informed decision but there is not a whole lot to consider when you go for big companies you can use google hosting too i think google host google hold on one second google hosting has wordpress hosting wordpress let me see google cloud yeah you can you can host on google cloud it's not necessarily google hosting it's on google cloud you can do that and it is very fast google cloud is very good aws is very good amazon that is amazon service you can go for anyone whatever you like it depends on your budget it depends on how much you want to scale or what kind of customer base you got there is a way to create free e-commerce website too and uh, there is a way to create that let me show you how you can do that too and we will be done up after that let me show you All right. so on this website you can create your own free e-commerce platform and uh, basically here this is my dashboard and uh, let me show you my products 
I got like two products here from what I remember. Yeah, there are two products. I have already got some orders too. Let me show you the orders. It is not showing orders here. Yeah, I've got like five orders and uh, because of the quantity, this is increased because they are not counting the quantity. They are only counting the orders and uh, I got a lo lot of, you know, heavy quantity. People, some, some people bought heavy quantity. But anyways, this is a pretty good platform. All you have to do is just get on the home page. Once you're on the home page, let me show you. You go here. Because I already am already logged in, it is showing like this. And uh, I can show you on another window. Let's go. So it's loading. Yeah. So this is you go here, you click on login, it will open my account. And here it will ask you if you are a customer or a vendor you click on vendor put everything here put on register and you're done if you have any issues you just click here ask the support they will help you out and it's a pretty good website the best part is you can put unlimited products here and you can sell as much as you want they got affiliate programs too where you don't have to basically think about the affiliate program in the sense that you don't have to make people join any program they will they will bring in affiliates for your products and they will tell you how much they are going to pay them you don't have to change your prices they will give them out of their share or whatever they have the plans because they never contacted me for any kind of you know affiliate regarding queries or anything and uh, yeah that's all there is to it and let me show you the platform a little bit more and i've been working with this website for a while now so i know i can trust them here's the best part for digital products they got net zero payments so what net zero is now when i told this this is net zero let's just talk about net zero what is net zero if you don't know there are net 7 net 15 and net 30 most websites pay on net 30 some people some websites pay on net 60 some people some websites pay net 90 whatever the case is net zero means daily payouts that means if you sell a hundred dollar product today you will get hundred dollar today on your paypal account and i love it that's why i hear it as let me show you let me show you Go on vendor and uh, orders all right as you can see okay so these are hold on as you can see these are basically the orders right so these orders are here in the sense that these are digital this is a digital product this is a physical product so for digital ones i got the payout on the same day they process the payout and they will send it to your paypal account they already have paypal payouts right now but uh, i think they got skrill and uh, yeah they got skrill and pay paypal whatever everybody got paypal nowadays so it's it will work for you guys if it does work for you guys you can always use it in the sense that if you don't want to spend any money on any hosting and just want to try test out your products it's a pretty good website and uh, their support is prompt in the sense that they will reply you they will help you out and they don't they don't just go around banning accounts sometimes these webs like let me let me give you an example for etsy right so etsy they ban all the time i hate i hate that stuff and it's just uh, not a very good experience with etsy uh, all i can tell you is this right so for redbubble you already know redbubble is pretty good i love i love redbubble i've been working with redbubble for a while now and uh, they are they are the kind of you know brand which i can at least rely that they are not going to just outright ban unless you do something absolutely you know you just straight up copyright infringing other people's product uh, and uh, then there are other ones too amazon amazon is strict and everything and this uh, amazon is really good so you i cannot just say amazon is a strict because because they just got a lot of people and they have to keep everything in check all right so anyways i use this website flopostore.com and you can use other ones too whichever you like this just it's easy to use and that's all i got for e-commerce and once you learn you can go on a gig create a gig and i will create a tutorial for creating a good gig how you can basically put a description how you can get reviews and that's this is the very this is one of the most important part for you know 
uh, ranking your gig reviews how to get quick reviews and prob good reviews and uh, if you don't know how to rank your fiverr gigs i will help you out with that in the sense that i will create a tutorial and you don't have to go anywhere you can just watch that and basically learn how to rank your fiverr gigs i will be creating a lot of videos on fiverr because i think fiverr is fairly easy you can start selling right now and you don't have to worry about nothing just make sure that whatever you sell you are ready to provide good quality up to mark quality and your pricing should be up to the quality of your service up to whatever you are providing don't put don't overcharge people because they will just start rejecting orders and this is something that i have seen with many people they start putting prices that makes no sense or don't undercharge people that you are providing them something that is like it is taking seven days for you to create and you are getting twenty dollars out of it just don't do that right i will be discussing about fiverr in future and uh, that's all for today okay thank you